Hello and welcome to Money Monkey Africa, your go-to financial podcast. I'm your host, Buteo Mbuvi, and I'm joined with Derek Karani. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a pleasure to have you, Derek. Uh, Derek, you've been in the digital marketing space for five years. Yeah. yeah and you are a brand developer. So tell us, how did you get into digital marketing? Yeah, um, well, I guess um, the way I kind of started with digital marketing, um, which was way back when I was in high school, from four, I'd say. Um, so I, I had overall goals of um, achieving a lot in this life, I'd say. And um, I had just come from reading a book called uh, Think Big. Mm-hmm. Right? So, um, you know, one of the things, one of the kind of things that I kind of derived from the book was, you know, um, you need to be paid in dollars. Yeah. And not been paid in Kenya shillings and stuff. Uh So um, all that just kind of led to me just starting to um, read about what are some high income skills that I can uh, can avail myself, that mm-hmm. I can be able to work remotely, you know, that can kind of have that entire lifestyle, I'd say, right? Yeah. So um, initially it was um, software development. That's kind of what I kind of came up with. Mm-hmm. Um, came, did Moringa for like three months, four months, I'd say. Mm-hmm. And then I realized, uh, you know, this is probably not for me, right? Yes. So, um, which kind of led me to digital marketing, you yeah. know, and then, um, slowly, I just kind of started doing it, you know, just kind of started learning. Mm. Um, at that time, you know, just by occurrence, I guess, um, you know, just online kind of met a company in the U.S., um, you know, they were recruiting for people, for media buyers. Mm-hmm. That's that's how we call digital marketers over there, yes. right? So um, they're recruiting for those people. Um, I didn't have the qualifications or skills, mm-hmm. um, but I told them that I can work for free mm-hmm. and just kind of do anything around yes. the company to just kind of learn. Yeah. Um, at that time, they were selling uh, digital marketing costs Right, so they're selling it for like seventeen hundred, two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Um, you know, but the agreement was, hey, if I come in for the next uh, four or five months and just kind of yeah. work free every day, uh, can you give me access to the cost? And then they were like, yeah, sure, uh, mm-hmm. no problem. And I think that's kind of where everything kind of started. I'd wow. say, yeah. So um, you know, kind of from there, you know, worked for them for like a couple of months. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, kind of building up the skill. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, again, I also learned this strategy from reading the book Master by Robert Greene, right? Yeah. yeah, and so that's kind of one of the strategies that he recommends, you know, just, hey, if you can work for free, you know, at a place, just please do, yes. right? So, um, so worked there, um, and then, you know, slowly kind of got trusted to kind of start running ads, campaigns, actually handling accounts in the company. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, after that, got a, an Australian client, um, you know, because now I had, at least I had the skill, you know, I could prove that, hey, um, I have these case studies, you know, yes. kind of performing well and all of that. Yeah. So um, ended up working for an Australian client, um, you know, we were scaling up a store. Mm-hmm. So I work in that vector of performance marketing, mm-hmm. right? So where you get, uh, you build a website, um, purely e-commerce, and then you market it to uh, countries like U.S., mm-hmm. Yeah. Australia, Canada, right? Mm-hmm. So at that time, which was 2018, I think we were selling the mascara. We ended up scaling it up to like, uh, was it like 700k USD, which was which was so amazing, wow. I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there, you know, kind of transitioned to start working for agencies and uh, things of that sort. So, so yeah, oh. so that's kind of how I got started. Wow, that's <laughs> that's a really great journey, yeah, and yeah. I love the fact that you know you had started with web. And Moringa School. Yeah. Did you finish actually? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did call one, and yeah. then hey, cons at that time, uh, I used to be coming from um, Juja, mm-hmm. come all the way in the morning with what? a very heavy laptop <laughs> to come to Ngong Road, yeah. and then in the evening, bam, you're, you're kind of back there, yeah. and then you still have assignments. So you're reaching home like nine, yeah. and then you have assignments and stuff. Yeah. yeah um, so it was, but Moringa taught me the hustle. Mm-hmm. Because uh, tech has a lot of hustle mm-hmm. and and you know kind of working hard, yeah. so at least Moringa taught me that. But you know after kind of trying it out, I was like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I probably you know kind of deserve the other side. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. And let's talk about um, you. Just did you go? To, have you gone to university or it's just also 
after Moringa, you're like, yo, let's, <laughs> let's go this other side. <laughs> no, um, hey, I come from a strict family. So mm-hmm. um, dad was like, hey, you know, it's, it's school, it's school, yeah. right? You have to do the four years, yeah. right? Um, so yeah, so ended up doing university for like the four years mm-hmm. since 17, kind of graduate last year. What did you do? I did, uh, it's a course. Uh, it's a very... <laughs> it's a course. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a course. Uh-huh. it's one of those ones as Julie Kanangi Sana. Gang as well. It's, uh, it's called uh, business computing. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's similar to BBIT. Yeah. It's just that JQuart, so hey, let's put this in another department and yeah. then slap another name to yeah. it. Yes. But it's pretty much the same course. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I was kind of handling this digital marketing side and also kind of handling also school. The school. Yeah. Okay. But you know, if you kind of do school in a public yeah. university, it's kind of easier. Mm-hmm. I'd say. Yeah. So, yeah, fa- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then also I was the class rep. So. Eh, class rep doing digital marketing. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> So, so the thing would be, um, so if a lecturer calls me and then he's like, oh, I want us to have a 4 p.m. cut. And then I look at my schedule, I'm like, hey, at 4 p.m. I have a meeting somewhere. No. So I'm like, ah, no, you know, we have a class at that time. You know, let's put it tomorrow oh, wow. at 8 a.m. Strategy. Yeah, so, th- so that's kind of how, you know, yeah. uh, Polly or to a BBC. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So let's talk digital marketing, yep. especially in the African space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause you have also you've been earning globally, which is the whole idea of you know, yeah. being financially stable. Yeah. But in the dig- digital marketing is a new thing mm-hmm. in in Africa yeah. and in Kenya. Mm-hmm. So what what are the challenges of getting into digital marketing? Yeah. I'd say um, the first thing, you know, the major challenge I'd, I'd say with digital marketing, especially in Kenya, is yes. that it's kind of viewed as, a, by the way, skills you get. Right? Mm. So you you get a job, you only paid 30k a month, Yay. you know, and you're, you're doing a lot of work and things of that sort, right? Mm. So that's that's why, you know, even me, I saw that and I was like, hey, let me just let me just go internationally because mm-hmm. internationally you get paid even three times, four times that, yeah. you know, just for one client. Yeah. you know so that kind of makes uh, so much sense and so much in me so so that's kind of what i ended up um kind of doing mm-hmm. um another thing is all the content right now mm-hmm. um that's kind of made f- around digital marketing yeah. is just specialized for the u.s right mm-hmm. so you, you know you're jumping on a youtube video they're kind of teaching you a strategy yeah. and then they're talking about hey um so on this campaign spend 50 dollars and then mm-hmm. on this other campaign, duplicate it, spend another hundred dollars, and that's that's an entire company's uh, budget up or two. You get yes. so yeah. so it doesn't really work well, mm-hmm. I'd say. And then even to get technical, um, so f- especially for e-commerce, right? Yeah. Um, the e-commerce landscape in mm-hmm. in in Kenya and also in Africa mm-hmm. is so different in the US, right? Yes. So I run ads to the US, uh, Canada, UK. People just buy instantly. Yeah. Get, yeah. People buy instantly and they have so much hope that that product will arrive there. Mm-hmm. And there are things like returns and, and things of that sort. Mm-hmm. But then, Huku, you know, it's like a long uh, checkout process, yes. right? Okay. Someone sees it, has to call the company, mm-hmm. you know, and then, uh, call like, hey, I'm going to shop. Wapi, ni kuja ni physical. Uh, physical, go yeah. there, check it out, yeah. and then, and then send yo, they, they actually buy, right? Mm. So that's, that's a huge challenge because yes. even how, for example, running Facebook ads is kind of built, it's kind of built for that checkout process where someone just kind of comes in mm. and just buys it off the site, right? Yeah. But then now you have all these offline conversions. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how they're called, offline conversions um, that are going to happen in that mm-hmm. you know that you have to still uh, you know account for so mm-hmm. so that's um, so that's like I'd say one of the challenges wow. that I've kind of seen yeah and it's really true especially okay I'm a victim of that yeah. like, yes <laughs> recently I just bought a book mm-hmm. and then it's from an online shop and then you know I, they, I've worked with them I've trusted them and it's all good mm-hmm. and then they start saying um, delivery I'm like I'll come for it. Do you have a shop? Because, <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's also the culture mm-hmm. um, that we need to demystify yeah. on online stuff. Yeah. Because now the question is, are digital marketers taking, because uh, now in digital marketing also, mm-hmm. you're paid little, but also you, you are supposed, 
it's as if you take HR role. Yeah. <laughs> you take um, <laughs> sales. Mass sales. Yeah. You're literally mm-hmm. the whole sales team. Yeah. yeah? Uh-huh. So the I think what people are struggling with is how does a sales team run with digital marketing and mm. all these other things? Yeah, that's true. But you um Yes, but still have a digital oh, oh, market. Oh, make a pitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how 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 is how would you advise us as the Kenyan market? Because you've been in the game for five years. Yeah. To bring in how to still have a digital marketer, mm-hmm. still have a sales team because mm-hmm. you need sales people. You need sales people. Yeah. yeah. And what other people do you need for marketing to work? Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess on here yes. um, especially for the Kenyan uh, landscape I'd say yeah. um, the best stage to marketing can work is um, first you have to do like thorough analysis of the market really mm. understand mm. how people buy mm. right for uh, especially for your brand mm. I'd say right and then structure your departments just based off of that right okay. so for example if you're a phone company yeah. right it doesn't make uh, sense to just have like a digital marketer popeke right you have to structure the digital marketer you have to structure someone at the shop right mm. you have to structure um, someone who's going to be calling calling up to customer yeah. support right mm. you have to have to structure that yeah. right so it's a lot of st- restructuring kind of just based off of what you get from your market analysis right and then it's also the realization that um, you know if you're going to run digital marketing and you're going to run it well Right, especially for platforms like Facebook, I'd say Instagram or even TikTok. Mm-hmm. You know, when it gets launched mm-hmm. uh, in Kenya, mm-hmm. um, if you're going to run for those ones, you need some budget. You need some good budget, right? Yes. Yeah, not being given 10k to to generate 100k sales. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. then yeah, and then also like realistic expectations, because you know, it just just doesn't work like that. You yes. know, you can give me twenty thousand, and then. Expect one hundred and fifty, hundred and seventy k to Thank come from you. there. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then also just to get a bit technical. Yeah. Um, let me let me just drink this. It's okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So just to get a bit technical, yeah. um, I think what's kind of needed um, is um, so if you're a digital marketer. The best way you can run ads is just run them as leads, I'd say. Okay. So choose the lower optimization events, um, especially if you're doing something like Facebook. Mm-hmm. Just choose something really low, I'd mm-hmm. say. That way, um, you're given a low budget. Um, so the way Facebook works is, yeah. so if you want a purchase, you're going to have to pay more. Mm-hmm. to to attract people that are willing likely to, to purchase yes. yeah but if you want someone to just view your ad you're going mm-hmm. to pay so much less yeah. i'd say yeah. right um and it's just still the same target market right mm-hmm. so um for kenya you know it's best to just kind of target these small events like you just want someone to view your ad you want someone to post engagement which is like comment you know share right yes. and that your ad will get a lot of reach traction and things of that sort right mm-hmm. and you'll see a lot of comments and then from the comments now you can can uh, now have your sales team you know on there you know like messaging people that hey i saw you're interested in this yeah. um would you want to check it out would you want to buy it can i jump on call with you and things of that sort right mm-hmm. so I'd, i feel like that that would be the best way i guess uh you know to just kind of allow to marketing to just kind of work in kenya yeah, yeah. That's if you're given small budgets, you mm. know, um, you know, it's not a really large team and yes. things of that sort. So, I feel like that's that 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 would be the best way. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Thank you for that <laughs> advice. And I believe every digital marketer out there is like writing. Yes, thank you, direct. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this thing called SEO. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> search engine optimization. Yeah, and. What is it? What is this? <laughs> what is it? People are like, okay, SEO website, do what, what? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it? yeah. I'd, I'd have to be honest, you know, because yeah. I'm very specialized around, you know, Facebook, okay. uh, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. right? Just kind of running ads on those sites. Mm-hmm. And not really that specialized ah, around Google, Google ads. ads. Yeah, on the Google ads, because okay. it's, it's, it's a really deep, uh, deep, deep topic, I'd say. Yes. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. but um, I you know i f- i feel like that could also be a really really good way mm-hmm. for digital marketers in kenya yeah yeah cuz um you know with half of the spend 
that you can achieve on Facebook, what you can achieve on Facebook, you can even easily achieve it on Google Ads, right? Because yeah. it's going to be much easier mm -hmm. to just set up your keywords right uh, after you've done your market analysis, right? Mm -hmm. Set up your keywords right so that you can start ranking out higher, higher, and higher, yeah. right? So yeah. for example, um, I was kind of doing consultation for a phone company like last year, mm -hmm. right? So, um, you know, the you know it's just a random shop, um, you know, they, they have their own website and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. And then you find um in phones that are, they rank up high higher in Google that's where they get most of their calls from yeah and they were just doing it freestyle um, they didn't know about SEO they didn't know about keywords and things like that sort right so yeah. the biggest recommendation for them they wanted to run ads mm -hmm. but I was like hey if you're already getting sales from here then I think there's a gold mine on here that mm -hmm. you can kind of achieve can kind of go for and that will be much deeper wow. Yeah, so that's kind of what I ended up kind of recommending uh, mm -hmm. on there. Yeah, so mm -hmm. but SEO is a big thing because uh, for Kenya, you, you know, if you want to buy like so an iPhone X, right? You go on iPhone X, Kenya, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Google, Gracie, and then the, the first two, three, four, five results, bam, mm -hmm. done. You, you know, you just kind of pay, you know, you on end of your site, you know, on a semi shop, you go happy, and mm -hmm. then you kind of go and buy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, um, you know, if People can also kind of invest in SEO way much better. Yeah, uh, definitely end up having uh, having some good results. Oh, about. thank you for yeah. that. Yeah, someone who's like Derek, I hear you. Digital marketing is a skill I am interested in. Mm -hmm. How do I get started? Yeah, mm. nice. Okay, um, so first of all, um, it's. Um, YouTube, YouTube University. Oh <laughs> YouTube School of yeah, yeah, yeah. Ads. <laughs> YouTube School of Ads. I remember back in 2017, 2018, yes. every day I'd watch like 10 videos. Wow. 10 videos. Just sit down on computer mm. and then start watching. Okay, mm. so Facebook ads. What is Facebook ads? Okay, mm. digital market. What's digital marketing? Mm. You know, and be very, you know, introspective, you know, to just can understand that, right? And then um, I've bought courses out there. I bought mm. courses worth 1K, 2K, 3K dollars USD. And honestly, what you get on YouTube is so much better. A hundred percent. I agree. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like what you get on YouTube is just, it's just a hundred percent so much better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but it takes time. You know, you yes. have to also allow yourself to learn for, you know, for some, some bits of time, you know, before you can actually be really um, specializing these skills. But yes. that's um, one way. Another way is you can choose to do internship for free. Mm -hmm. You know, just be like, hey, um, you know, X company, you know, if you have, if you know a couple of companies or you're working in a company that has a digital marketing side, mm -hmm. just choose to internship on, on that side and uh, mm -hmm. kind of learn from someone who's kind of running it mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. and just, you know, kind of be sticky uh, around it. So I remember I have a friend um, called Jack. Mm -hmm. So Jack, uh, um, you know, I was doing digital marketing and he was in the same class as me, right? Mm -hmm. And it was uh, around 2019. So he came, you know, you know, he, you know, he was like, hey man, Karani, I want you to learn this thing. And, uh, it really, and he was so persistent. Yeah. He would come to my place every single day to wow. just be like, hey, ukunaka course neza nini? Oh, ukuna YouTube nini? Yeah. Ukunaka account neza angalia? And things like that. So. And then what ended up happening is that it became so good right mm -hmm. you know that right now he's so much better even than me yeah, yeah it's just because of that resilience of just gonna keep on trying and stuff that's yes. all but the best way to start in get to play youtube spend an hour on it um in the in the morning take mm -hmm. notes you know continuously do that i'd mm -hmm. say plus there's also certifications like google certifications yeah. right those those can be amazing um, even Facebook, they have um, a certification. Um, it's called the Blueprint. Mm -hmm. uh, also a free course that you can go on there, mm -hmm. take it out, and yeah. um, they even have an exam, and you can get some really good certificates to just kind of get started, that's it, and kind of understand things. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that value. And I believe if you want to earn, because you know guys have been asking, how do I earn? It's all about skill sets, and David... <laughs> Derek. What? <laughs> Derek, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who's David? <laughs> Derek <laughs> is Derek's um, skill set is digital marketing, yeah. and you just go to YouTube School of Arts, yeah, yes. <laughs> and um, learn. Also, give you self yeah. serve. Yeah, that's yeah. also something I've learned yeah. from the um, what are they called? 
the free internship, mm-hmm. but they get the add value. The add yeah, value, yeah, sure. yeah, for sure, yeah. So uh, how also would someone get into the space of international digital marketing? Oh, well, yeah. that's a, that's an interesting uh, topic, I'd say. Yes. Um, so first things first is um, these Facebook groups, mm-hmm. right? Um, mm-hmm. All over, all over Facebook. You know, if you um, there's a particular one that's really good. It's called Facebook Ad Buyers uh, Job Board. Mm-hmm. Right, so just go search it up, join the group. It's kind of free. So what mm-hmm. happens on there is that people post for jobs. Okay. Agencies they just post for jobs. They're like, hey, we are searching for a junior media buyer who's proficient in Facebook ads, nini, and we are willing to train them up and things of that sort. Mm-hmm. Um, can you do some interviews, nini? And then they leave like um, a form. You go fill, and then you start doing interviews. Yes. Right. So that's. Uh, one of the easiest way I, I think I got I've gotten like a couple of jobs from there that's ah, it nice. yeah so um, there's Facebook groups like that so mm-hmm. you can just search for Facebook ads media buying job board on Facebook and then you'll get some good really good groups that you can kind of join in yes. so that's one way to go about it um, LinkedIn is also another way right mm-hmm. so set up your LinkedIn really good mm-hmm. um, and then they have like a, a job section right yes yeah set your location for remote. And then afterwards, after you set your location for remote, then you're kind of free. Um, it will kind of start showing you, uh, you know, job posts all the way from Philadelphia, the US, Canada, and things of that sort, right? Mm-hmm. And then you find um, for some of these places, actually for a, most, a lot of them, uh, they're willing to hire uh, anyone remote. Cause, yeah. So for example, uh, the way they do their math is if I'm hiring someone from a third world country like Kenya, mm-hmm. right, I'll end up paying them 20% less, yes. you know, but that 20% <laughs> less is For like, us, it's, it's like, it's, it's, tw- it's $2,000. So you're like, yeah. yo, that's, that's life, you know, you know, if you're living in a bed sitter, you know, that's life changing money you get. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. so, um, so that's one way to go about it. So that's LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. And then there's another platform called Indeed. Mm-hmm. I N D E E D dot com. Um, now that's fully like a job place, like a website. Yeah, jobs to. So lots of agencies they post there for you know for different jobs. So I need to performance marketer up or I'm a right media buyer up or, and then you, you should get like a lot of um also again international jobs out there, right? Yes. And then search for the one that kind of suits you. Now mm-hmm. if you're starting out, um, you know you should see you know some junior post some junior media buyer Mm -hmm. we're looking for a junior media buyer who's based uh, remote who's based in um and the European time zone, you know, it works about the European time zone, just know that's a similar time zone to you, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say those are the top three places that you can get. And you can easily join these places for free yeah. and start applying to as many jobs as possible. And there's always one. There's always. There's always one yes. that just ends up happening and ends up kind of turning out to be what you have, right? Wow. Yeah, but before that... Train, train. Train, yeah. summer. Yeah, summer, summer, <laughs> kidogo. Get, get some kiss, uh, get some skills, Kiasi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even if you do not have uh, the case studies, because in our industry, they like to, they don't, they don't really care about which degree you did. Mm-hmm. They don't really ask for any certifications, yes. but they care about, hey, do you have a case study? Mm-hmm. Um, do you have, have you worked with a brand and have you given them results? Mm-hmm. You know, so, hey, can you show us some results that you've gotten? Can you show us some, some of the accounts that you're on at the moment, right? Yeah. So some, some places, they will ask you for that. Mm-hmm. But then there are other places that are like, hey, uh, we know you're a junior. Yes. We just want to know whether you're proficient with ads. Mm-hmm. Like you understand, you know, you have done some courses here and there. Mm-hmm. And if you are, if you're proficient with that, you just come in on board and then we will teach you, okay. right? Yeah, and then for jobs like that, they usually give you like personality tests, mm-hmm. you know, just to, to know, Who you are. yeah, because they're going to invest a lot of um, knowledge, a lot of content with you and things of that sort. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then also something else that I've mm-hmm. forgotten to add, you know, mm-hmm. working internationally has the benefit of where these people, mm-hmm. they are so easy going. Oh yes. my God, they're just, they're so easy going. Like, me, people tell me stories of their Kenyan bosses. I'm like, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what's happening? Why are you going to eat? You know, like, yeah, so you're like, <laughs> they're so easy going, yes. um, you know, as long, and then, because um, they are so used to maybe a lower work um, work effort, mm-hmm. you know, from their from their own people, right? Yes. That if you're coming there, you know, you're clocking in at eight a.m., clocking out at five p.m., mm-hmm. you're sending updates every day. Mm-hmm. 
umekata it for yeah. all yeah you're easily killing it yeah <laughs> awesome and this has been such an informative informative <laughs> episode yeah. and i believe anyone that who wants to be a digital marketer has had free information all you need to do now is go and execute it cuz no one is going to do that for you yeah. so thank you so much derek for sharing your knowledge thank and you. keep working keep doing and be awesome <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much See you in the next episode.